Welcome to the fire capture tutorial. Today let's see how to set up your motorized filter wheel and focus in fire capture. Let's start with the filter wheel. Um, to set up your filter wheel open the filter wheel settings which is the, the filter wheel icon in the, in the settings panel here. If you don't use this icon you can just click on that triangle here on any button and pick it from the, from the list. So it opens uh, the settings and under hardware, motorized filter wheel, you see uh, the filter wheel settings. Click on that checkbox to initialize the filter wheel and it brings you a list with the available with the supported interfaces in Fire Capture. So the most common interface is ASCOM, um, probably supported by the most of most of the motorized filter wheels. But there are a bunch of other direct interfaces you can try to use if you have one of those filter filter wheels. Isn't tested very much, but if you have some problems in, in getting this working, just leave me a message and we'll try to fix it. I'm just pick ASCOM from here because I have to need and I need to use an, a simulator here. Don't have any wheel filter wheel connected. So select it in the list, click on that initialize filter wheel button, and it brings you just information that you need to select it in from the following ASCOM dialog. So in the ASCOM dialog, I'm going to use simulator here. You would need to select the U filter wheel from that list here. I'm going to use the simulator and just check the slot here. I have three filters now in the position one to two. And okay. Okay, filter wheel initialized, which brings you information and just to let you know that it's uh, initialized successfully. So, there is uh, another option over here, show position filter icon. You can pick this and it print and it uh, displays an, a number, the filter position and the icon. That it just may be handy or useful just to know where, where the filter position, what the, where, what the position of that filter is. So, okay, I'm just open the ASCOM window from here and just to check if the connection is working. So just click on another filter you have just selected and it moves to that filter position. So this ensures that the connection is working. You need to make sure that you have so selected from that filter position um, row here. You need to select the correct positions of the filter though. As you see, we have set up red, green, and blue, the desired slots on the filter wheel, so you need to make sure that you have selected the, the proper filter here from in Fire Capture 2. So that needs to fit the real positions on the filter wheel just to know that the selection will work. So that's important. So just select the positions here from that, from that list. Okay, so as you see, Connection is working. Okay, that's done. Um, there is an, another hidden option in Fire Capture you can try to use if you have some of some kind of fancy filter wheel or do-it-yourself filter wheel, um, which uses an, a script interface. So I'm just going to show you this. Um, Maybe useful for some special cases. So I'm turning off the motor the filter wheel here connection. So to use the script interface in Fire Capture to connect the filter wheel, um, you can open the Fire Capture initialization file, click on that Fire Capture Weenie, and there is one entry in the file called filter wheel script, which is usually not that. I have, just for simulation, I uh, have uh, created a script batch file called wheelbat. So I'm just going to show you in a moment. So as you see, that is sits in the fire capture folder. So here, um, and I just what I do here is just to open another DOS box and um, printing the parameters that fire capture hands over to the program. So I'm just gonna close this and now when I change the filter you see put three filter R it means fire capture 
calls the real bad script file and hands over two parameters. For the first parameter is the filter position, which is three here, and the second parameter is uh, oh, it's a filter name. So um, you can use this in batch interface if you like to automate or connect to them, yeah, do it yourself projects or whatever. But so just an information uh, that this can be used in Fire Capture too. I'm gonna just disable this again. Okay, so that's all for the filter wheel for the moment, I guess. So let's switch to a focuser. There was also an option in Fire Capture to use a, a focuser. So the setup procedure is the same as the filter wheel. So just select the focuser settings from here, from the list. Go open the focuser settings, which is on the hardware focuser. So Currently, a fire capture only uh, supports uh, ASCOM focusers. There is no other interface supported. So, click on that use ASCOM focuser, and again, it pops the di dialog showing that you need to select it from the from the list here. Okay, I need to set up uh, the f uh, focuser simulator using a hub. So, I'm just using a as come focus the simulator. Okay. Okay, focus is initialized. So just close this other windows here. Okay. The first step would be setting up um, selecting your your fil your filters from the from the lifts here. That simply depends on what, what filter you, you would like to use. So I'm just using these RGB filters from here. Um, there are some more options. The first is uh, you can set up the position, the focus of position for every filter here. Um, another option is um, save positions on filter change. So whenever you change the filters in Fire Capture, it will store the actual uh, focuser position to that filter. So this is uh, useful if you need to need to refocus very often or if you would like to store just the positions whenever you filter change so just check this option and it will store store the, the filter the focus of positions. Um, when using absolute um, focuses absolute position focuses you can also switch back to a relative positions um, and there are some the button here there are some more options um, uh, fire capture pulse for the focuser position and so you can set up the cycle time here usually it pulls the focus position every three seconds but you can decrease if it, so it's more it, it pulls the posi positions more often and there are also two step size you can use these are the buttons over here I'll just show you later that's the step size for, for every of that set a button over here Okay, um, let, we are done with the, with the settings, so just open the focus window over here. Okay, after initialization you see another panel over here, which is a focuser panel. So this is uh, prints uh, the focuser position, the current position here, and you have some, some in and out buttons, and uh, you can move the, the focuser positions. The steps here, as just shown you in the, in the settings here, it can be defined here in the step size. Okay, there are some more options under the settings button over here. Just click on that options button here and it pops a dialog where it gives you some more options. You can open the focuser settings as shown before. You can open the ASCOM settings is uh, the focus of settings in the OSCOM dialog and um, you can manually save the position to the current filter so it ju I'm just going to show you this if you have refocused a bit and um, save position to current filter and when you open the filter filter that uh, the focus of positions again now you see it has stored the current focus or position to the to the red filter. So this is uh, handy if you just want to correct the, 
the Frocuser position for the for the fill tube. Um, there are some more options available. That you can also just imagine you have you're using a different optical setup, so you want to have a filter a Frocuser setup for optical setup one and another for setup two, which which usually has different Frocuser positions. So you cannot load and store focus positions to to files so you just to show you this to store to store the focus positions you can save positions from the list here and let's the file name focus positions moon it's an fst extension which stores the, the focus positions so you can let's change the focus position to show you that it restores the position. You can load them back using the load position action here, select it from the list, open, and it uh, should restore the saved positions. As you see here, it restored to 2506. Um, you can also Open the settings using drag and drop. You can also take the FST file here, the focus of position file, and drag it to the fire capture window. It pops up and press open a uh, dialog and press OK. It will open the settings. So this is handy if you have an, if you want to use different focus of position setups. Um, Hopefully, that's all. Yeah, I think that's all for today. So now you need, you should be able to to know how to to set up your focuser and um, filter wheel and fire capture. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye.